नमस्कार माई सेल्फ प्रतीक एंड इन दिस सेशन वी विल सी द डेमोस्ट्रेशन ऑफ इम्प्लीसिट कर्सर लेट एस मूव टू आर एक्ल लाइव टू सी इट्स डेमोस्ट्रेशन लेट एस फर्स्ट क्रिएट इम्प्लॉय टेबल विद कॉलम्स इम्प्लॉय नंबर विच इज द प्राइमरी की ऑफ दिस टेबल नेम जॉब सैलरी एंड डिपार्टमेंट नंबर टेबल हैज बीन क्रिएटेड नॉ लेट एस इंसर्ट थ्री रिकॉर्ड इन दिस टेबल here we are inserting a record of e number 1 with name ram and he belongs to department number 10 employee number 2 belongs to department number 20 while employee number 3 belongs to department number 10 let us execute these insert statement so we have inserted three record in this table let us query the content of employee table these are the three records of employee table let us execute this update statement update employee set salary is equal to 30000 where department number is equal to 3 i am executing this simple sql statement and you can see that here we have a record for department number 10 and 20 so there is no record for department number 30 let us execute this update statement so you can see that the output is zero row updated so this is very important to note that whenever we execute a dml statement in sql oracle automatically display number of rows affected by last executed statement now let's remove this where section of this update statement so when i will execute this statement it will shows three rows updated it mean oracle automatically displays the number of rows updated this same will be applicable in delete insert and select statement let us execute a delete statement to verify this here i am executing a delete statement to delete record from employee table where e number is equal to 6 so you can see the output is zero row deleted so oracle automatically display the result of last executed dml statement let us execute this statement again the output is three rows updated now we will see a very interesting case let's put this update statement in a plsql block so in order to put this update statement in a plsql block i simply added begin and end we have just seen that when we executed this simple sql statement the output was three rows updated oracle display the count of number of rows updated now i am executing the same statement by putting this in a plsql block by writing begin and end now let us execute this code now you can see the output statement processed here oracle has not displayed anything about the result of this update statement in this case the programmer is not sure whether some rows are updated or not and if updated then how many rows are updated so this is very tricky problem in plsql we know that in plsql to display something we have to use dbms underscore output dot put underscore line statement and without using dbms put line the user will not able to see any output in a plsql one thing is clear to display a user defined message we have to use dbms put line statement in this case we actually want to know the status of this last executed dml statement in a plsql block and you know that to get the status of last executed dml statement in a plsql block we can use the concept of implicit cursor so this has been discussed here implicit cursor can be used to access the information about the status of last executed insert update delete or single row select statement so in this case we actually want to know the status of last executed update statement and for this we have to use the concept of implicit cursor and by using the concept of implicit cursor attributes we can fetch that status we have already discussed that implicit cursor attribute sql percentage found returned to if most recently executed dml statement was successful and to get the number of rows affected by that statement we can use implicit cursor attribute sql percentage row count this implicit cursor attribute returns the number of rows affected by an insert update delete or single row select statement so you can see that we can use equal percentage found 
and sequel percentage row count to get the status and number of rows affected by last executed DML statement in a PLSQL block. So in order to check whether this last executed update statement has updated any record or not, we can use implicit cursor attribute SQL percentage found. Let us extend this code to use this implicit cursor. See that we have extended our PLSQL code by adding this if statement. If SQL percentage found, then we are displaying a user defined message updation has been done, else updation has not been done. This if statement is terminated with and if statement. So the result of this update statement will be checked by this SQL percentage found. This will return true if last executed DML statement was successful. So if any rows are updated by last executed update statement, then this will return true. So message will be displayed update has been done. Otherwise, a message will be displayed update has not been done. Let us execute this PLSQL code. So you can see the output updation has been done. Now in order to display total number of rows updated by this last executed update statement, we can use implicit cursor attribute SQL percentage row count. Let us extend this code to use this attribute. We have extended this DBMS output put line statement. If last executed update statement return true, then this DBMS output put line statement will be executed and it display a user defined message with string update has been done. Then it will display the value of SQL percentage row count which will be the number of rows affected by last executed update statement. Then we are displaying a string rows have been updated. Let us execute this code to see its output. So you can see the output update has been done. Three rows has been updated. We can improve this output by adding dot and space here. And I am also adding one space here. Let us execute this PLSQL code. The output is updation has been done. Three rows have been updated. Let us extend this code to check the value of implicit cursor attribute SQL percentage is open. Here we are using if statement to check the value of SQL percentage is open. If the value of SQL percentage is open true, then a user defined message implicit cursor is in open state will be displayed. And if the value of SQL percentage is open is false, then a message implicit cursor is in closed state will be displayed. Let us execute this code to check its output. So you can see the output implicit cursor is in closed state has been displayed. As we have discussed in our previous session, the implicit cursor SQL is automatically opened, processed and closed during the execution of this update statement. So after the execution of this update statement, when we are checking the value of SQL percentage is open, this is already in the closed state. So here SQL percentage is open, return a false value and accordingly a user defined message implicit cursor is in closed state has been displayed. This is the demonstration of implicit cursor. We can use implicit cursor in the same way to display the status of last executed delete, insert or single row select statement. Here we have a PLSQL code to display a message to check whether the record is deleted or not. So in begin section, we are deleting a record of employee table for E number one. If SQL percentage not found here, we are using implicit cursor SQL percentage not found. So if SQL percentage not found, then we are displaying the message record not deleted. Else we are displaying the message record deleted. You know that the working of SQL percentage not found is opposite to the SQL percentage found. If last executed delete statement affect no row, then this SQL percentage row found will return true and message will be displayed record not deleted. Otherwise a message will be displayed as record deleted. And in this PLSQL code, we are displaying a message to give the number of record deleted by the delete statement issued in a PLSQL block. Here we are issuing a delete statement, delete employee, where department number is 10. 
the value of this equal percentage row count is stored in a local variable n which is declared here and then we are displaying a user defined message total number of record deleted concatenated with the value of n variable so this is the another way to use sql percentage row count so otherwise instead of declaring variable n you can also directly use sql percentage row count here as we have already demonstrated in our previous example this is all about the demonstration of implicit cursor to read more about this you can refer my book simplified approach to dbms which is available on amazon you are requested to subscribe to this youtube channel to receive latest video tutorials on topics like data mining machine learning dbms big data no sql and many more to learn sql in a simplified way you can join this free online course on sql at udemy platform i have also authored books on data mining and data warehousing no sql beginning with sql and pl sql for beginners all these books are available on amazon platform to read more about this you can refer my website pratikbatia.com thanks for watching this video